What's up guys, I'm Taylor at Go Power Sports. This is our official invitation to all mini bike riders, really all across the country. We're having an endurance race called the GPS 180, which is a three hour long race, 180 minutes. That's November 13th, which is on a Saturday, and the race is at 12 o'clock. Now this is an endurance race, three hours long. It's gonna be a Le Mans style start. So we're gonna have, there's a long straightaway at the beginning of the race. We're gonna have everybody lined up on one side, bikes on the other, bullhorn goes off, whatever noise we're gonna have, gunshot, whatever. You run across, crank your bike up, it has to be pull start, and then you take off, everybody at once. All right, this is the start of the GPS 180. We'll be lined up down this straightaway, Le Mans style. Then we'll come into a sweeper, right hand turn, and then hop onto the track down there and hit that first burn. So at the end of the race, at the end of three hours, when that buzzer hits, no matter where you are, if you're on the back side of the track, you have to finish your last lap. Your time does not end until you actually cross the finish line. So if positions one, two, and three are side by side on the far side of the track at three hours, it's a race for them to the finish line. If you, if three hours hits and you cross the finish line, you know, right after three hours, you're done. Basically three hours, finish your lap, and then that's it. For this race, you're allowed to have a team. You have one bike per team. You can have unlimited riders. Keep in mind, you're only gonna be able to do, I don't know, 10 to 15 laps, depending on how fast your team is, how fast your bike is. If you have breakdowns, um, some guys are going to want to do it all on their own, but a team of two, three, four, that's really going to be the perfect size. For this event, we're going to have four different classes. There's a uh, full suspension mini bike class, which is kind of like the outlaw. It's just about anything goes. You have a 10 inch rim max. It's got to be pull start, no gears, four stroke. You have to have a handlebar kill switch, and you need to be at least 14 years old to participate in this class. Next up is the hardtail mini bike. It's the same as the rules above, except no rear suspension. Then we have a pit bike class. That's 150 cc and under, you know, Trail 70, CRF 70, any of those type of bikes. Last but not least, we have the junior class. It's 15 years old and below, and you can have a bike that qualifies in any of the other three classes. That's basically the rules for juniors. As long as your bike falls in the three classes, you're good to go. The junior race starts at 11. It's gonna run 11 to noon is the time we have slotted for it, but they're only gonna do one you know, full lap. So it could take 10 minutes, it could take 45 minutes, it just depends on the rider. So if you are 14 or 15 years old, you can race in the junior class, and then you can also race in the adult class in any of those classes, whichever your bike falls. For this race, you must have a long sleeve shirt, pants, helmet, boots, or shoes that cover at least your ankle, um, and then chest protector and gloves are recommended but not required. We will have trophies for first, second, and third of every class. And then we're going to have a trophy, like the biggest trophy for the overall winner, which will be the fastest bike no matter what class they're in. Now, we are not keeping any of the proceeds for this event. Um, we're doing most of it cost free as far as the camping and whatnot. All of the proceeds that we will make go to Team Life. We'll be donating that to them. They do a lot of really good work here in Texas with high school kids. Another cool thing, we will have a raffle going uh, pretty much all day. As soon as you get there, go find the raffle tickets, get your name in. We're going to start drawing them, you know, throughout the day. We'll be giving away a Megamoto 8105 kit, Stage 1 kit, Tour Converter. We'll, we're going to have a bunch of stuff to give away. Camping, I think we're going to have a lot of people showing up early, especially the out-of-town guys. So Thursday, you can show up, you can camp Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, and that will be free charge. We're handling that. Um, if you have a RV or a camper, we have spots for those, limited number. So that's a hundred bucks for that, and you will have to call Kyla 
at Texplex to reserve your spot. Thursday, the first day of camping, you can show up whenever. We're going to start practicing. You can ride around, uh, meet people. Friday, we're going to have tech practice and camping again. Tech starts at 1 o'clock. So if you get there Friday, it's a good idea to go ahead and get your bike tech. That way, you're just good to go for Saturday. You won't have to do anything Saturday morning except practice. Saturday morning, the day of the race, 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., we're having tech and practice for you know the guys who are getting there late. Um, the junior race is going to start at 11 a.m. As soon as they're done, we're going to start lining up. The main race starts at noon. After the race, which will end at 3 or a little after 3, we're going to have awards and food uh, starting at 4 or 5 o'clock, probably 5. Uh, we're going to do burgers, hot dogs, um, and all that's free too. We're just going to be cooking up a bunch of stuff for everybody to eat. Now we have a lot of our YouTubers coming. We got Cars and Cameras, Redbeard's Garage, Tyrannus Customs, Build Break Repeat, Rick Watson at Busted Knuckles Builds, Mini Bike, Miss Fix from Georgia, and many more. Make sure you check the link in the description below. It's going to have a link straight to the GPS 180 ticket. Go on there and buy it. Read the directions under there so you can get your team name and whatnot. Thanks for checking out this little promo video, and we hope to see you out there on November 13th for the GPS 180. Ruts will be smoothed out so we can just fly through here.